I've been in Cuba having some alternative medical treatment. No cannabis. By the time I came back, it was probably well out of my system. And I was completely disabled from it, not having it. Like I'd gone from a wheelchair, from a cane, into a wheelchair within a couple of weeks of it just going out of my system. And um, that was a common experience of people that I was giving support to who were taking cannabis, that they really deteriorated without it as a pain relief. Yeah. So it just gives you that flexibility. Have you got any idea why this hasn't flowed through into evidence that, that the doctors and decision makers are prepared to act on? Because I, I you know, I, I still know, get them... New Zealand's a fishing village, and if you put your hand up and say, I'm prepared to act, chances are you'll get slapped down like my doctor did. You ever heard of him again? Hmm. You know, so, I mean, it's a bit much. First they ask them to step out, then to support you scientifically and medically, which is what they're mainly there for, and then to have the minister of, what is he? You know, mm-hmm. some medical... The, the associate practice. minister of health. <laughs> and uh, saying no. And also getting the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Health to ring him up and ask him these questions, which he couldn't answer, you know. And that wasn't on the criteria. So that is that... that it sounds like and it looks like when, when the conditions are that steep, it, it's an institutional resistance. It's an institutional resistance. It's a fishing village resistance to something new. Mm. Scared. Instead of looking at it and saying, is it useful? And it's also got something to do with the corporate medical world. I'm sure of that. They don't, the, the opiate use in America has gone right down, hugely reduced with the introduction of cannabis. It's a big expense. It's mm. the biggest medical account as opiates. How does what the conversation you've started around medical cannabis relate to the you know, cannabis law reform in general? Yeah, are they it's separate? It's unfortunate, right, because there are two issues. Everyone wants to separate them out, but they're not really. It's the same plant, and it's just how you use it. And why can't you regulate right across the board? So in um, Colorado and California, you can grow a little bit, but you've got to grow certain breeds, so they've really limited down what were quite strong breeds coming onto the market to make them manageable. Um, you're not allowed to give them time to 18 year olds, not allowed to sell them, not allowed to trade it. It's a very good regime. Mm-hmm. And then you've got scientists working on it. So I, I don't know why we just don't get on with it. <laughs>